This, they're not. How about you prepare our men and women for battle instead of this nonsense? I want to welcome in now our panel. Sam Sorbo is here, author of Words for Warriors. Also with us, attorney, Republican strategist, and contributor at Town Hall, Aaron Elmore. Sam, Aaron, great to have you both on the show. Thank you. Good to be here. Aaron, for you first, I'm fired up watching a man who is supposed to be capable of leading men into battle. Instead, he wants to lead them into the classroom to teach them woke nonsense. What happened to combat readiness? This is our military. This is not a college or a university that is teaching theory and ideology. We are here in the military to protect the United States. And I saw that this ge- this gentleman is a very decorated officer, clearly. And what I've learned from some of my friends in the military, that once these people climb up sort of the bureaucracy, they become like any other bureaucrat. He might just want to keep his job. And that's really sad because his job is to keep us safe. Yeah. Sam, what do you make of all of this? I think Aaron is right. You know, you see this even with police chiefs, very different from the men and women walking the beat, right? They become politicians. This guy would have been saying this under President Trump, I promise you, and he was still in the military then, Sam. Well, what happens is we are advancing people who have been, they are ideologues, and so they have been committed to an ideology This is one of the leaders of the largest teachers unions in the country. Listen to what she has to say about this idea that all our institutions are racist. We have a rich history in this country. We need to make sure that all of that history is included in what we teach our students. All right. So what she was saying there before that was she was talking about critical race theory and making sure we teach all of them, Aaron, critical race theory in the classroom. These teachers unions should be ashamed of themselves. They have kept our children because of the pandemic out of school for well over a year. Our children need to learn basic math and science and reading and life skills. Instead, they're being instilled racist values and that's what critical race theory is. Honestly, their job as teachers and educators are to make our children great leaders and what makes great leaders are educated children, not opinions. Teachers should teach facts and data only to our children. This is very sad in some of these topics, whether it's CRT or some of the gender aspects of things, those are for parents at home. Please, I implore the teachers unions, I know you're beholden to the Democrat party, teach our children basic life skills and educate them appropriately, not with your faulty opinions and wokeness. Absolutely great advice. Sam Sorbo, I give you the last word on this topic. Well, here comes some of my white rage. Uh, I think that what they're doing to children in schools right now is nothing short of child abuse. You use the term communism because I've moved on from socialism now. I do believe that that's exactly what's going on as they want communism now across America. Sam Sorbo, Aaron Elmore, to the both of you, thank you so much for coming on the program today. So Joe Biden again.